My name is Okechi Kruenzalu. Um, I'm a Manchester-based writer. Um, my novel, my first novel is called The Private Joys of Nana Maloney, and that came out in October 2019. Um, and I would like to talk about a writer called Ji Lianko, who is, he was born in Singapore, and he now lives in New York. Um, and the book of his that I have here is called The Pillow Books. It's a wonderful book of prose poems that really falls between categories. There are poems that are lists, memories, disparate images, short stories. And what I love about this book is the calm and the peace that he lends to everything that he describes. Not all of these experiences are entirely positive, not all of them are happy. But I think because the poet, the writer, gives you so much space as a reader to decide for yourself how you feel about what he's written, he, there's something about the way that it's written that just feels very welcoming and calm, even when he's describing some quite difficult experiences. He will give you a list of images about all sorts of things and then pop in there something quite sad or moving or surprising or joyful. And what I love is how he sort of, he lays out a world for you sort of one image at a time and allows you to find your own way in it in a way that really mirrors, I suppose, his own experience of finding his way throughout the world. So this book covers things like his own sort of coming to terms with his sexuality, growing up experiences, moving country. He now lives in New York, as I said. And the wonderful thing about it is, I suppose, the range of it, but also the sort of the quietness of it, which I really, really love. So uh, what I'd like to read now is a prose poem called Hateful Things. Um, caramel filling in chocolate, hot rain all year round, cold sea in the summer, a tulip browning in the spring, babies, pedestrians who hog sidewalks, commuters who hog staircases, small talk when I have not had a drink, squeaky voices. They are especially unbearable when they read poems. Dates who talk about themselves the whole time, dogma of any kind. It is even more hateful in the mouth of a handsome man. List poems to be contradicted.